What's happening? Now look, like I tell y'all, y'all like my videos, like, subscribe, come and do what you do. Today, I had a couple people asking me about when I always speak about um, words or spells. I've been supposed to be do, did a video on it. So y'all caught me in the studio, I'm doing my thing, you know, this is just where I get it down at. And I say, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and do a video on that. Now, very important, you have to understand that words are spells. Once you understand that, you'll, you'll be able to digest this a little bit more. And it's very important to learn this because, like I say, these are some of the grassroots things that people need to learn, especially if you just become to be a woken person. And you, you know what I mean? Like, you want to eat up this small stuff first and then it'll start coming to you. Now, let's get into it. Words are spells. Like I tell you all the time, that's why they call it spelling. The first thing, <clears throat> the first thing they teach you in school is how to spell, how to write, how to read. Because without you knowing those things, they can't put these spells on you. Like if you didn't know what beautiful mean, you wouldn't be able to identify that word with the feeling. That's why you got person, place, or thing, nouns. All this shit is so simple, like once you start breaking it down. So for if, if a person, place, a thing, that's a word, then you know that word is related to a person, place, or thing. So if I say, hey, beautiful, how you doing? I just spoke words out my mouth that you can identify, understand, and it changes your frequency. That's how the magic happens. Without me even saying the word magic, I want to get into that next. I'm going to show you how magic and spells and words and all this shit run together. Now, listen, now. Very simple. That's why they call it spelling. You get what I'm saying? And like I say, when you say a bad word, which don't necessarily have to be a curse word, oh, I just gave it up. Damn. But anyway, when you say a bad word, what they call it? A cursed word. Bitch. Fuck. Go to hell. But it don't necessarily have to be those type of words. It can also be stupid, silly, ignorant. It could be other harsh words that has an energy or a vibration behind it. This, this is why all words have energy because a person can say something to you and uplift you or they can say something to you and bring you down. And you have to understand just because you haven't seen it in this light doesn't mean it don't exist. Something that simple that you probably never thought of. This is why people say be careful of the words you say out your mouth because once you speak the word, you basically birth the feeling. So if you say, damn, man, I don't think I could do that. You just birth the feeling that you can't do it so your actions are going to show just that much of how you feel you can't do it which is 50 percent so mentally you already done lost halfway because you off rip coming into this situation as if you don't even have you don't even have the um the the you don't even think you can do this so you're not going to do it that's why i say words are very powerful and i'm gonna tell you something the word um grammar comes from the word uh, grimoire, right? You probably heard this in Harry Potter and a lot of other movies. And I'm gonna get into that too. I'm gonna show you just how these motherfuckers in Hollywood know and understand what be going on. But anyway, the word grammar comes from the Latin word uh, grimoire, and that basically means book of spells. The word grammar comes from book of spells. That's the definition of it. With the Latin word, the original word. Now, I'm gonna tell y'all something too. Chants are like spells. When you chant something like, like you're doing music, it's ritual too. And you see people dancing around the fire and the candles and they chant and stuff. You're conjuring. That's another word for um, when you when you conjuring, it's like it spells. If you look up the word spells and the words associated with spells, it's conjuring, it's 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 uh it's uh persuasive, it's it's um it's like it's like a form of uh Speaking something good to a person. I can't think of the word. I'm, I'm, I'm head all over the place, but it's like being nice to a person and you basically putting a spell on their ass. And people don't understand that it's like your baby daddy. Your baby daddy got a spell on you. He, you can't leave him alone. And it's not like, oh, oh, uh, you know, like with movies, they put magic and spells on fucking steroids. Like I say, it ain't no, no wave of one and some magical shit. Go no. All it is is vibration that's coming out your mouth that changes your frequency. Very simple. So if they taught you this, they wouldn't be able to use it on you. Like I'm trying to teach you. So your baby dad can put a spell on you. Your baby mom can put a spell on you. Your, your, your old lady, your, your wife, your husband, whoever. 
these are forms of spells because a person can say something to you and change your whole frequency. I can greet you and say, man, what's up, fuck nigga? You'll be like, damn, man. Or if I greet you, boy, what's up, king? What's up, God? Same thing with a female. If I say, what's up, queen? She feel good me, or me addressing her. That's why when you see people from other countries, when they address each other, they may kiss each other on the cheek. Like, you know, certain Muslims or certain different type of people, different ethnic backgrounds. This is a form of high greetings. This is what I was telling y'all yesterday on my live. If you in a, if you with, uh, uh, in a culture and you have no cultural background, that means you don't have no yellow lines in the road. You just all over the place. And this is why a lot of relationships and a lot of other shit don't work out because there's no boundaries. In certain countries, it's certain things a woman can and can't do. Same as a male. But in America, we just all over the place. We don't have no type of cultural boundaries because we've been stripped of that shit coming over here. Anyway, let's get back to the video. Another thing is when you when you say certain stuff, just because it has a, a different um, spelling of the word, but it has the same tone or the same... Um, vibration coming out your mouth when i say morning it's the same as saying you mourning someone when they die like a ceremony when you when you go for the morn when you mourn for the dead and it's the same as good morning see this is the shit that goes into the magic part of it this is the shit that the europeans have taught us how is it that a word can have a different uh spelling but uh, uh, the same, almost the same, well, different spelling and different meaning. That shit don't make no sense because it's still coming out tonally or vocally the same way. Don't get it misconstrued, right? So when you say good morning, you really casting spells on people. When you say good morning, we're going to break this down too. Also, when you say, when you say stuff like days of the week, if you spelled it D-A-Z-E like a days, and if you spelled it of the week, meaning W-E-A-K, like you weak, these are the same thing. These are forms of, of spells. You get what I'm saying? And you have to understand this. Like I say, this rabbit hole goes way deep. And this is only for those who, who got an open mind and can understand and grasp this stuff. Get out the box. Trust me, this stuff has not been put in place for no reason. Now let's get back to it. You ever thought about why they call alcohol spirits? If you look up the, the the Latin word for alcohol, right? And basically, alcohol basically means um, a body-eating spirit. That's why they say when people are, 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 are drunk, they have I can't never um, get this shit, but a sober mind speaks, or a, 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 a drunk mind speaks, or sober, whatever the have it go. But this is why. Because you're altering your spirit. You ain't the same person you are. So if I, if you came to me, at two o'clock in the morning, not two o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the day, and you are you, you're consciously you. If I gave you anything to alter your conscience, meaning you're not you no more, now I'm fucking with your spirit. And that's what drugs come in at, that's what alcohol come in at, that's why they call it spirits, because it's altering your consciousness. Some people drink so much that they wake up, they don't know what the hell happened. Or they get into an accident, kill somebody, all kind of shit, just because the substance or the or, or, or the alcohol or anything that you're taking is is altering your consciousness. Now let's go to the word drug. Right, here come the magic. Right, the word right, right aid. If you're from Florida, I don't know if it's some you know right aid somewhere else, but the word right aid, the pharmacy company, they spell it R I T E, not R I G H T. Why? Right, R I T E is short for ritual. You get it? Now nah, this is where the fuckery come in at. If you look at Rite Aid logo, it's a pastel or a martyr, which is a bowl with a mallet and they crunch up herbs. This is all, you know, people use it to cook with, don't get me wrong. People crunch up herbs and stuff and, and you know, and crunch up certain stuff to cook, it, cook with, but it still goes back to um, a, a witchcraft type thing. This is what witches use also to, 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 to um, mix potions and shit like that. And, I'm finna show y'all just how right up on the people noses this shit is. Check this out. And I want to show y'all the word right. R-I-T-E. Not R-I-G-H-T, but R-I-T-E. And look, a religious or other ceremonial or ceremonial act. My bad. Ceremonial act. Now look at a similar word. Ceremony. Ritual. Ceremonial. 
<laughs> service. Uh, let's let's worship. Oh my God, I'm t- <laughs> like tradition. Okay, whatever. But anyway, um, this is Rite Aid, one of the pharmaceutical companies, and like I say, these people don't just put these names on these buildings for nothing. All this stuff is is connected, um, and it's all ritual. Now let's go to the next one. Rite Aid. Here is the logo for Rite Aid, and as you see, here come the 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 the, uh, the pastel or the martyr. And heck on the, the mallet, you know, the I guess that's supposed to be the herb that is crushing up in them. But anyway, let's go to the next one. Walgreens. Same bowl, same mallet, same thing. Now, I'm going to give y'all another example on how these people use ancient uh, terminology and act as if it doesn't mean anything. Because like I say, everything that they know has been stolen. Sirius XM Radio. Now, we f- I'm finna sh- this this, gonna, this this really going to show y'all what's up. Where do the Sirius XM name come from? Okay, Sirius, pronounced Sirius, is the brightest star in the constellation. Canis Major and the Northern Hemisphere, it was named after the ancient Egyptian god Osiris. Keep that in mind. Now, I did a breakdown of Os- Isis and Osiris on how they stole the whole story from um, from the Egyptians and mimicked it with the Jesus story. Now, I showed y'all. We did a whole comparison. But let's not get off topic. Uh, it, it came from an ancient Egyptian god, Osiris, god, who was represented as a dog, giving Sirius its more familiar name, the dog star. Now, listen. The dog star. Now, let's look at Sirius XM radio logo. Sirius, what you see? The dog. Not only do you see the dog, what do you see? The star. <laughs> now, this is like companies with big budgets. Why do they still use ancient terminologies and, and, and uh, symbolisms if it don't mean nothing. Like I tell y'all, man, we are in a, a, in a Western, hem- Western world where they done stole everything and they trying to keep us in the darkness. Now, let's go back to the video. Now, hopefully I'm opening up some of y'all eyes. And now I'm finna tie more of this magic into these spells and how all this shit comes to be. Now, pay close attention. Now, your grandma can tell you, don't come in my house with that drug money. Don't bring that, don't bring that drug money in my house because the Lord this and that. Remember the word drug now. Don't come in my house with that drug money. This is the Lord's house. But to send your little brother to the drug store. <laughs> this is what I'm talking about. How one word can mean two things or they can put the perception on us that one one drug is good and the other drug is bad which we all know that's bullshit but let's let's put the, the um, statistics together pharmaceutical drugs kill over 300,000 people a year facts drugs on street kills a little over 30,000 a year facts and that's just from overdose so how grandma gonna tell you that your drug money ain't good but they drug money is that's Magic. <laughs> That's magic. Think about what I just said. This is how much we've been kept in the dark, and this is just how much I really want y'all to go pay attention to the movie The Matrix. I cannot say it enough. If your grandma can come to you and say your drug money ain't good, even though your drug money don't kill as many people as pharmaceutical drugs does, because pharmaceutical drugs kill people, I mean, just on GP population control but your drug money ain't good but she can send your little brother to the drug store pay for her drugs and they drug money good nigga that's magic that's how magic works I tell y'all what I'm finna run this little short clip of this little video and I want y'all to understand and pay attention 
I want y'all to count the footballs and let me know how many footballs you counted. Pay attention. This is a test. Try to count the number of footballs, like this one, as they fly across the screen. You have 10 seconds. Ready? Go. Did you count all 27 footballs? It's not easy. But the funny thing is, you didn't need to count any of them to get the right answer. Want to find out why? How could you possibly know the number of footballs without counting them? Because the answer was hidden in plain sight, right on the scoreboard. While you were focused on what your brain thought was important, counting the footballs, you missed some vital information. <laughs> now listen, I had to say the word football, or I had to tell you what I want you to focus on. I wanted you to focus on the footballs, not knowing that the answer gonna be revealed right in the background. This is how magic happens, bro. They want you to pay attention to this hand while the fuckery going on in the other hand. You have to understand that. You get what I'm saying? And I went through a great deal a lot to put this video together, so I hope y'all liking this video, so please like and, and share it, but I ain't finished yet. But that just, that just gives you a great example on how the world works. Anytime something happens, they'll, they'll come up with another crisis. Oh, here come everything about R. Kelly. Oh, here come everything about Bill Cosby. Why they doing other shit? This is how magic happens. And that's why I keep telling y'all, words are spells. When they say, when you say a word out your mouth, like I say, be careful what you say, because when you say that word, you're, you're activating that feeling or that emotion. When you say, I can't do it, you halfway lost, because now your body is going to resonate to that, to, that, to that word. I can't do it. Or when you come in that bit with confidence, like, boy, we finna... <laughs> now you confident, your body finna act accordingly. That's why you got to be careful what you say out your mouth. When you put stuff on people, you're projecting your perception on them. You're putting a spell on them. Imagine you telling your child, you ain't shit. You ain't gonna never be shit. They never forget that. That's a spell you putting on them. Just off the words coming out of your mouth. Not force. This is where they get social engineering to. All this going on with the C virus shit. They wanna know how many of y'all gonna follow suit just off the words that are coming out of Donald Trump's mouth. And we all know, the real researchers and people who really dig deep know that Donald Trump is a puppet. Is a puppet. He don't run nothing. But anyway, we're going to get back to the video. Now, if you look up how Hollywood works, right? I'm quite sure y'all know television or TV means you telling a vision, right? They're putting on the TV what they want you to see. And I did a video of this on how the government had this black family to, to move the man out of the house. He had to leave, he had to leave the city in order for them to get governmental assistance back then. And they was also wasn't they also wasn't allowed to have a TV in their house. See, a lot of y'all ain't know that. It wasn't just I'm gonna give you some, some government assistance on some food stamps and some bread and butter, whoop de whoop. No. The man has to leave and you can't have a TV in your house. Until one day they got a letter saying, okay, now y'all able to have a TV. Why? Because these motherfuckers done cooked up all these old European ass um, TV series that's going to get into the minds of the minorities or the blacks and whoever and, and paint that perception that, and I'm not being racist, that whites are more superior. They were showing things on TV that we didn't see in real life. Because you got to think, they removed our fathers out of the house. Just to give us government assistance. Come on, man. This rabbit hole goes deep. And I hope y'all still stick with me through the end of this video. Now, when they was able to watch TV, that's when they done put all the shows together. And you can and if you go back to my video, which I made, I might just put a link of that video up. But when you go back to my video and it'll show you how once once they was able to get a TV in the house, they watching shows on TV that just blew their mind. Shit that they always wanted. A father figure. 
you know, the father playing with the daughter. It, it, it's just crazy how we've been suppressed and kept in the dark. And that's why I can't just let stuff like that go. You get what I'm saying? But anyway, back to the topic. I really want y'all to understand that words are spells. And with that being said, I want to run a couple of more definitions of words so y'all can see that defining words will give you a lot of insight on what the fuck is going on. Check this out. Back on my computer. Now I want y'all to take uh, to pay close attention to the word spell. You understand me? Spell. And basically, a spell is a series of words that has magical powers. If you're under a spell, then what do you do is out of your control. Your thoughts and actions are the or the um or the or dictated by the spell Sp um spells can refer to the magic words you say or it can be described being under the influence of those words now with that being said you should understand why when the when the c virus first hit why they used all these big celebrities because they have this influence you understand me hopefully i'm opening y'all eyes like it ain't that hard long especially when you know that's why they don't tell you because if you knew then they couldn't put this over your head but let's go on to the next word which is ceremony now pay close attention to <laughs> what they got underneath ceremony they got a picture of a wedding and I'm not trying to rain on nobody parade but like i tell people just know the origin of weddings and just know that we are Africans and we're being raised as Europeans, man. This ain't our way of living. Like, we did have our own ceremonies and stuff like that, but this is not our stuff. Like, you feel me? And when you take a black man or any other culture and raise him as a European, it's like equivalent to raising a dog as a bird. You feel me? We're not at our potential. We haven't been raised as an African. So when you see this, it's just, it, that's why I say I love doing it because that just breaks it down anyway. Ceremony, let's go to the, the definition. Look at the first word, word, uh, word, right. Same as right aid, same thing I've shown y'all. Look at the second word, ritual. <laughs> Look at the second word, right, ritual. Refer to set of observance and acts traditional in, in religion services or on public occasions. Ceremony applies to more than less than formal um, dignified acts on religious or public occasions. A marriage ceremony. Listen, this is this, that's that's why I say. And like I say, I ain't ready on nobody parade. Just putting people on game. And this was the same thing as coming to America, right? We know that when you are, when you of royalty, you're gonna pick the husband or the well, you're gonna pick the um the the um the bride. For the, for the prince to get married. And that's going to go through approval of different things. Like, she has to have these backgrounds to be worthy to be with this prince. Because she's, they finna change her life. They are interlocking bloodlines. Like, marriage is just not two people fall in love and we just go sign this paper. No, it's deeper than that. So, know your history on it. And ceremonies, like I say, man. It's the same as is 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 black is, is uh black China with the um Kardashian situation. Even though the Kardashian like blacks, we know Rob and her was a mismatch. That was a player move on her end. Like let's just be real. Now, her kids are gonna be rich. That was just a player move. But had that been done how they normally would do that, that wouldn't have never happened. And I'm not saying she's not worthy to be. Um, with him or whatever But y'all get what I'm saying Man, come on, man All I'm saying I'm just trying to open y'all eyes To see a couple of things And maybe y'all have knew it. Maybe y'all knew of this Maybe y'all ha may have not knew So, just research, man Research it Research it yourself And I'm just bringing it to y'all Now, back to the video Man It's called etymology Etymology when you study the origins of words, the meanings, you know, the suffixes and all that, and you'll get a, a, I mean, a lot of words that you speak, you have no meaning of. And once you pronouncing the word, it's not, it's reading. 
knowing the suffix, the noun, the verb, that's understanding the word. And I'm gonna give you a quick example. Anti. Anything with A-N-T-I in the front of it means to go against or the opposite of. Anything with R-E in front of it means to do again. Rewind, redo. So it's like you have to learn how to look at words, understand those words, like contract. The root word of contract is con. Or trickery. <laughs> look it up. This is why I love this shit because it's so interesting. Like when you start digging and digging and digging, it's like you can't stop if you're that type of person. Look it up. Trickery. 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 How have you said? Trickery. Trickery. Whatever. But I didn't want to make this video that long, man. So I just had to give y'all this information. Hopefully y'all learn something, bro. Words are spells. Be careful of what you say out your mouth to your family, to your more importantly to yourself don't ever say i can't do something don't ever like downplay yourself that's why i tell you i don't give a hell what going on in your life you always look at the positive in that situation always always i don't give a damn if you fail and cut your knee it could be something positive in that because you could have kept walking and got hit by a damn car i don't know just give me an idea be careful what you say to your kids. Be careful what you say to your, your significant other, your baby mom, baby daddy, husband, wife, neighbor. You got to be careful the words you say out your mouth because I'm telling you, those words triggers actions. Those words triggers actions. The same way when you're in the bedroom, you're talking that good shit, it's aroused you. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's just like the placebo effect. And the nocebo effect. So placebo is, you already know that I've done videos about that. Placebo. So when you speak it and you believe it, it happens. But it's a nocebo, which is the negative part of that. Everything is negative and positive. So with that being said, man, I just hope y'all learned some uh, words or spells. And, um, I just want y'all to understand that the rabbit hole goes deep. I just try to throw it out there where y'all can open your mind. I'm trying to crack your eye open a little bit. And hopefully um, you'll start seeing stuff for yourself. So with that being said, y'all like, subscribe, come and do what you do, man. Shouts out to everybody that hit the neutral burst link on this post. I can't say it enough. My Patreon follows, I love y'all. Everybody else is a contribution from the cash out. For the videos that I put out and all that stuff. And also, um, I should have said this early into this video. We is putting together a meeting, but we're gonna wait till all this stuff blow over. A lot of people contacted me. I appreciate y'all. That really gave me the confidence to say we can do this. We're gonna put together a meeting. We're gonna have a couple people to to, to speak at that meeting. And we're gonna have a um I'm gonna need a couple of y'all to help me orchestrate this thing. That's why I say drop your location, what city you in, state you in. We're gonna try to come up with a central location where it ain't gonna be too far for everybody to meet and we're gonna meet and we're gonna talk about some of the things we need to do in the future for us. Fuck this shit. I wasn't born to, to, to be governed by some people I know don't fuck with me and I hope y'all feel the same way. So with that being said, man, it's your boy Papa Doug. Y'all like, subscribe, come and do what y'all do. I'm finna get back to doing what I'm doing. Oh, and before I forget, I told y'all my podcast is coming. Um, I got everything together. And I'm just gonna give y'all a glimpse of how this thing gonna look. Yes, sir. Uh, we're getting it together. Y'all see it? It's LMG. This is where the podcast is gonna be going down at. You feel me? And like I said, man, y'all like, subscribe, come in. Do what y'all do. And y'all already know it's love. It's your boy Papa Duck. I'm out.